All right, guys. Well, I finally, finally got to work on my siding here. It takes a long time torching and sanding and oiling these things with two coats before I install them. So, but it's starting to look good and I'm starting on my window trim here, which is kind of fun. Rabbited it out the corner so that all the siding uh, laps behind the trim one inch. So these boards go on here, that sits over that one inch overlap. And then the siding board that goes up past will sit an inch behind that. And then I got a windowsill that's gonna go in underneath there cap that off. I'm installing all this with uh, three inch trim head screws, coated, epoxy coated or ceramic coated, you know, exterior grade trim head screws. Basically they look like, they look like a finishing nail. They leave a really small head but they've got, you know, good bite and they're obviously not going to pull out on you because they're a screw. So that's how I fasten all the trim around the window because I needed some really good bite to pull it tight against the siding. Um, but the siding, just because of speed and efficiency, I'm using a 16 gauge nailer with two and a half inch uh, pins. And I make sure I get the galvanized coated exterior pins um, because like the aluminum ones, they only, the interior grade ones will corrode on you over time. So it's best to get the, the uh, galvy coated ones. Your tip for this week I know you've been wondering, why is this guy still talking and not giving me a tip? Well, sorry, I'll get to it. The tip for this week is when you're doing your siding, especially vertical board and batten siding, the bottom edge where the water's going to run off and drip, you want to cut a 45 degree angle. So I'll show you a close up here. All right, so the lighting's kind of terrible right here, but you can see that I've got a 45 degree cut right there. And then I took a stain and I sealed the end grain with a whole lot of oil in behind there. And I also oiled up about six inches. So what happens is when the water comes down there, as opposed to hitting the bottom edge of the board and then wicking back against the building and wanting to just sit on that bottom board and soak up into the end grain, um, the sharp edge right there makes the water drip immediately as it comes down the board. So it doesn't have an opportunity to wick up into that end grain. That's just going to keep uh, the integrity of your wood lasting a bit longer. Add 10, 15, 20 years maybe to the life of your wood. At least that bottom six inches, which is going to see the most weather. So good little tip for you if you're installing board and batten siding. Oh, that hurts. Another tip that will save you a bunch of time uh, measuring as you're going along and just setting your boards in the right spot. You know, you can draw a line at the bottom where your flashing is or where you want your siding to end on the wall, but it's a lot easier to just use a little spacer board. So I've got my three quarter inch strip of wood here, which is kind of tightly wedged in there. And as I move along, I just slide that along the flashing and set my boards right down that way I know I get an exact three quarters of an inch all the way along and I know my flashing straight because I shot that with the level when I installed it so it's a lot easier than trying to measure or get down and eyeball it I don't know what you do but I recommend using a little spacer block and if you're not if you don't have a flashing at the bottom for whatever reason um, you just screw it on or put a few nails and just tack it move it along tack it in place Saves you a lot of time and when you're done you just have a perfect crisp straight line all the way along the bottom. So you always get a bonus with the sound. So any of you guys that have been following my channel for any length of time and probably watched my video, the Tanto build video. Um, later I decided I was going to give away the Tanto knife that I forged. Um, just as a fan, thank you for all the people that watch and support this channel. So I did a big draw. And I called out this guy's name, Scott Brummett, and he was the winner. But he never responded to any of my emails. And it's been like a couple months now. I sent him probably at least three or four emails pleading with him to receive my amazing gift of a hand forged tanto knife. And there were to no avail, there was no answer. So I was probably just in his junk mail, and he was like, delete, whatever, you're lost, Scott. So I've Decided I was just got to draw another name, so I drew another name from the bucket, and the winner is, oh, wait, 
bring out the knife. This beautiful Tanto knife, hand forged by the samurai himself. The new winner is Justin Green. Now, you're probably pretty excited, Justin, unless you're not watching this and you don't care about me anymore. And then in which case I'm deeply hurt and I'll call somebody else's name. So I'm gonna send you an email, Justin. You, you can feel free to send me an email if you're excited and actually watching this and want this knife. In which case, I'll get your address and I'll send this to you immediately. If not, I'm just going to keep going through the names, plucking them out until somebody answers because I'm not doing this runaround anymore, okay? I just want to give this knife away and bless somebody's life, okay? Is that so hard? So, Justin, congratulations. You're the winner. Come on over, Justin. When you said Justin, I was like, I won. <laughs> no. In, in other news, it's time to meet the new apprentice. Here, stand on this side of me. That way I look bigger in the camera lens. It's a, domi hey. it's a dominance thing. This is Justin Ritter, the new samurai apprentice. So you'll probably be seeing him scampering around in videos and helping me build stuff. So feel free to give him a warm welcome in the comment section, guys. I finally got some help, which means things are going to pick up around here and we're going to be getting more stuff done, which means more content for you. So it's just a win-win for everybody. So give them a virtual high five and uh, stay tuned for more Justin in upcoming Samurai videos. All right, get back to work. <laughs> so until next time, guys, uh, feel free to voice all your wonderful thoughts in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, Samurai out. And some of you are probably like, dude, I thought your next video was going to be like chainsawing big slabs and stuff. Okay, just relax. Yeah, I had to order a different sprocket for my chainsaws. And I ordered it and waited like two weeks. And then I went down there to pick it up and it was the wrong spro sprocket. Supposedly there's like three or four different parts that have the name sprocket and the chainsaw. Learn something new every day. So it turns out I got to wait until next Friday to get the proper sprocket for my chainsaw so that I can cut some slabs. But I got plenty of siding to do. Okay, so just stay tuned. There's gonna be madness with the chainsaw coming shortly.